All right, so last one for this afternoon. It's already uh, almost 4 o'clock on uh, Monday. So uh, I'm just going to try to go through this one example. I've got a couple meetings and things i got to do. But uh, So here's one that we were working on today. You know, quadratic equations if I'm given the zeros. In other words, what if I know where it crosses the x-axis in advance? So the example that you have on your MCA, you know, write the equation of the quadratic. Now, I'm going to say opening upward because if it opened downward, it would be a different type of equation, different looking equation. Uh, so opening upward and having the zeros at negative 2, 5. Now, remember from what we did today, the first step is, well, I know that x is going to equal 2, comma 5. Neg sorry, negative 2, comma 5. That I then have to put into the factors. So I got to go from the zeros to the factors, and the factors are what's in the parentheses. So now I have... Remember, we take the opposite sign, x plus 2, and then x minus 5, and this is going to equal 0. So this is trying to get me the equation if I know the zeros again. So from here, we just go ahead and multiply. We FOIL. All right, so I'll steal the pen just so that you can see. So the x times the x, that's what gets me the x squared. x times the negative 5 gets me this. 2 times the x gets me here. And then, of course, 2 and negative 5 gets me there. All right, so this is all stuff that we did, you know, before, and uh, now we just have to clean it up. So I've got a negative 5x plus 2x, bam, okay, so x squared minus 3x minus 10 equals 0. So going from the zeros to the equation, now I just want to make sure that you understand what it looks like. So what I did is I took two screenshots, okay, I actually put this on a graphing calculator, and over here I literally put in, the equation that I got up above. So the equation I have up above, x squared minus 3x minus 10. Graph it. Now remember, we said that this would cross through at negative 2 and 5. Now if I look over here at what the graph looks like, it's opening upward like I said it would, and I'm crossing the x-axis at right here at a negative 2, and I'm crossing over here at a positive 5. So this is just evidence to back up that what I did was correct. All right, so this is number seven from the MCA review. All right, have a good one, and uh, I'll try to do up a couple more later tonight. Bye.